Happy birthday, Libra. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. This is a detailed reading about how your person of interest feels about you. Their thoughts, feelings, intentions. No place like home, Libra. You are beautiful. Look at that. You are the beacon of light in a sky and a sea of darkness. When this pe person feels down, they make a beeline to your place is what I'm seeing. They love your home. They feel snug. They feel protected. This person delights in your energy. All right. So we're going to do um, a Celtic spread and we're going to clarify. We're going to get some advice. We're going to tell you what they like best about you and the relationship. Let's see here, my beautiful Libras. I do offer readings. Um, and so if you would like to have a reading, there is a ticker tape and information below. Okay. So Libra, your person, oh, they see you as a rock star. We see Aquarius energy for you here. This person feels as though you are life and love and happiness and kindness and artistic and very beautiful. I like that, Libra. You are all of those things. Happy birthday, by the way. All right. Ace of coins. So this person wants to make a significant offer. We get the Ten of Wands, whatever has held them back in the past, they want to let go of it. They want to let go of any burdens, any misconceptions, any insecurities that they have. We get that they do see Libra, you are in your own reading. Do you know how much that, that is so good? Because they see you as a person who's very logical, that though you have a beautiful heart, it's ruled by Venus, you are also ruled by Saturn. So you take love very seriously. And you want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in a relationship. They hold you in high regard. That energy is stellar. We get that you are their best friend. And, oh my God, I love this. When we get the Ace of Coins and the Three of Cups adjacent to each other, that is a potential engagement. This is a ring and that's the party and the bridesmaids or the celebration. I love this for you, Libra. Oh, Herifon, traditional med oh, traditional medicine. I started to say medicine. This is institutionalized um, approval. This is like a rabbi, a priest, a pastor, somebody who uh, is the person who has the authority to marry you. Could be a friend, right, who's licensed to do that. This person wants something very serious, Libra. Look at, they see you as delightfully loving. For those of you who would like to have children, this person shares your interest. We get the energy that they are looking into the future. They definitely want you in their future. They're trying to see what the, you know, the best way forward is what I'm getting here. We get the king of swords and the queen of swords. So you might be a double air sign couple. I love this. The energy is that this person definitely, their biggest fear is making a mistake. Their biggest fear is not basing things on facts. This person does, is not somebody who lives or enjoys backstroking through confusion. They just don't. They do not backstroke. Ten of Swords, though, is the outcome is that they feel as though you may not choose them. The Ten of Swords says that this person is feeling defeated in the relationship. For an outcome card for everything they want, what I'm getting here is that they have a fear that they're not going to measure up. So let's go ahead and see what they see so magical about your connection. What is the magic? Because Libra, this person is crazy in love with you. They feel as though when they propose, so you may not say yes. That's how I'm reading that. I get the energy of white rose of hope. So this person has very deep hopes for the relationship. They are worried that you may not take them seriously enough. That's the energy that I'm getting here. Let's look and see what your advice is before we clarify. We will clarify and see what's going on here. But the energy that they're thinking of, what is the energy of this Ten of Swords? Why are they so worried that you are not going to choose them? That if they propose to you on bended knee, that they're going to, to have a disappointment. 
Wasp spirit, sometimes life stings. Okay. So Libra, I do see this person as feeling very grounded with you in terms of understanding you. So now we're going to look at why they feel so drawn to you. The ace of coins, good as gold. You're always so level. You're always so loving. You're so logical. You're nurturing. Let's see. Why is the star here? Ah, oh, look at that. Knight of Cups, they want to make a love offer. They feel that you are the one for them. There's no doubt about it. Why is the Ace of Coins here? Ah, Ten of Wands. So Libra, this person may have approached you in the past to have a more significant relationship, and it looks as though you didn't agree. We get Ten of Wands, Ten of Wands. Clarifying the Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups. So your person really wants happily ever after with you but they feel as though they haven't been able to win you yet. Why is the queen of swords here? The high priestess, you know, you're very intuitive Libra. You're very intuitive. And so the energy when we have a high priestess is that you really go by your instincts, that your sense of balance is very finely tuned and that this person feels as though you're keeping a secret or keeping something from them that they don't understand. <gasps> Ooh, King of Wands. This person has fire in their belly. They want, you know, the King of Wands, fire sign energy, fire and air. Lots of heat here, my friends. They feel as though you're their best friend and lover. We get that when they think of traditional marriage. Here's the vibe I'm getting, Libra. Many of you, I don't think, want a traditional marriage. This person feels as though you're bored by the concept. They feel as though you're very carefree. You may have Jupiter in your chart that's profoundly aspected. But what they see you, you know, when we get Sagittarius energy, they feel very much like you like being single. So you're going to have to tell me in the comments below whether this is correct or not in your reading. The Ace of Cups. So this person loves you even though they try to be very balanced. The Two of Wands, a crossroads are at is whether to ask you to marry them. But we also get that, that even though they know that you love them, there is this concern. Why is a king of swords all over this reading? You have a beautiful reading here, Libra. Why is a king of swords here? Uh, so what I'm getting here is that you have a tendency to love really deeply. You may have, many of you have very profound Scorpio. You may have Scorpio Venus, which means that while you love this person, you're not going to make it obvious that you show them how you love them as opposed to talk to them about it. So we do have someone here, Libra, that's very fearful of getting stung. Wasp spirit is sort of like a stinger to a scorpion. So we are seeing that this person has been put off by you in the past. So what's the outcome? What is the outcome for this love story? Equal give and take. I love it. The queen of pentacles. Libra, you love this person. And though you're fearful of getting hurt again, aren't we all? You know, somebody who's been hurt in love, but two of swords. Even though you don't want to face past wounds, what I'm getting here, Libra, is all you have to do is really accept that somebody in the past that you thought was trustworthy is not trustworthy and that you've gotten past that. This person looks very trustworthy. They look very honest. They look very, very loving. So Libra, thank you so much. Please like, subscribe, share to help me grow the channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.